Did you know that everyday life would be unimaginable without refractory products? So what are refractory products? Well, let's take your car for example. It's made out of steel, glass, copper, aluminum, and plastics. These materials are manufactured at extremely high temperatures. In order to produce steel, iron is melted in a crucible and transformed into steel using various processes at temperatures of up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. The interior of the crucible has to be lined so that it doesn't start to melt too. This lining is made out of refractory products, which are also used in the production of glass, copper, aluminum, and plastics. But how do these refractory products stand up to such tremendous temperatures? What are they made of? And how are they manufactured? The initial base is made up of several materials, including magnesite, which can be mined above and below ground. The magnesite is crushed and then burned in special kilns at a temperature of 1800 degrees Celsius, which produces the refractory properties. The yet loose material is then mixed with binders and pressed into various shapes and sizes with up to 3,200 metric tons of pressure. This pressing power corresponds to the weight of roughly 900 elephants or 80 loaded semi-trailer trucks. Depending on the application, the refractory bricks are then tempered at up to 350 degrees Celsius or burned for three days in huge tunnel kilns at temperatures of up to 1800 degrees Celsius. And how are these refractory products used? The products are installed in our clients' facilities by us refractory companies in furnaces, installations, or containers. But how long can refractory products withstand these extreme temperatures? In the steel industry, refractory materials generally last anywhere from a few hours to several weeks. And in the glass industry, for example, they can last up to about 10 years. After the regular wear and tear, the refractory products are removed and recycled if possible. Our industry covers the entire cycle, from the extraction of the raw materials all the way to recycling. Refractory material keeps industrial production up and running 24 hours a day and is irreplaceable for manufacturing the products we use every day.